There is controversy right now about prostate cancer screening. It's, it's a very controversial topic, and the U.S. Task Force came out with a preliminary recommendation that screening may not be necessary. Um, and it's very important that people understand that there are certain populations of people at very high risk for prostate cancer, not only uh, uh, developing prostate cancer, but then going on to develop disease that may be life-threatening. Those two populations are men who have family history of prostate cancer and African Americans. And those two particular populations really should continue to receive screening. And in general, the American male has a slightly higher risk of prostate cancer than many of our counterparts throughout the world. It may be diet related, it may be environmental. So we do not believe that the blanket statement of non-screening should be done. We believe that the screening should be discussed with the patient and the pros and cons addressed in great detail so that they know what, their, what the options are for them. It's an interesting point when you look back to the mid-90s compared to today. There has been a 40% reduction in prostate cancer deaths. 40% reduction in prostate cancer deaths since PSA screening was initiated. If it wasn't PSA that improved the outcomes, what was it? And that is something I talk to patients about. I make sure they fully understand that yes, there are many men who will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, small volume, low grade, low PSA, but, and those may be men we would talk to about observation because they may not need to be treated. On the other hand, there are a lot of men out there, 32,000 last year in America, who died from their prostate cancer. And if we can find their cancer early enough, if we can detect it in an early enough stage, Prostate cancer is highly curable, approaching 100% if you catch it at a very early stage. So we believe very strongly that screening still is necessary, and we advocate it and we will talk to the patients about it. Um, there have been three studies that have come out. There, uh, two of them are large European trials that have shown very clearly that death rate is reduced between 30 and 40% in men who have prostate screen screening performed. And if it's not done, you're going to put that population at higher risk. We are passionate about this here at GW because of the fact that we're in the city in America with the highest death rate from prostate cancer. And we really feel that screening still should be uh, part of the program. And, and we've been very involved, very vocally involved with the Congress, with the U.S. Task Force. We've been up on the Hill. We've talked on television, and we're very active in trying to make sure people understand that screening is a very much a necessary part of their overall, overall health program.